reflection and its laws. We see objects because light rays enter our eyes after bouncing off surfaces of objects. When a beam of light strikes on the surface of medium and after striking goes in the same medium, it is called flexion. Let us understand reflection with the help of an activity. Take a plane mirror. Take a sharp laser point. Remember that it should not be pointed towards anybody's eyes as it is very dangerous for eyes. Point the laser towards the mirror from your right hand side. What do we observe? We observe the laser light appearing towards the left hand side when the pointer is still pointing from the right hand side direction. This is called reflection. After striking the mirror, the ray of light is reflected in another direction. The light ray which strikes any surface is called the incident ray. The ray that comes back from the surface after reflection is known as the reflected ray. Now draw lines showing the position of the plane mirror, the incident ray and the reflected ray on the paper. Draw a line making an angle of 90 degrees to the line representing the mirror at the point where the incident ray strikes the mirror. This line is known as the normal to the reflecting surface at that point. The angle between the normal and incident ray is called the angle of incidence, angle I. The angle between the normal and the reflected ray is known as the angle of reflection, angle R. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. This is known as the first law of reflection. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. This is the second law of reflection. Regular and diffused reflection. Look at the plane mirror. Have you noticed how the light rays get reflected by the plane mirror? Let us find out. Look at the light rays coming towards the plane mirror. When the light falls on the surface of plane mirror, they get reflected. You must notice that after reflection of rays, even in a parallel to each other, this type of reflection is called regular reflection. So we can say, in regular reflection, parallel incident rays remain parallel even after reflection. Objects come across in daily life such as book, pencil, table etc. do not have smooth surface like polished objects. This type of surface is called irregular surface. When parallel light rays fall on the irregular shape, the reflected rays do not even parallel to each other. This type of reflection is called diffused or irregular reflection. Formation by reflection. We have understood reflection and its laws. Now let us understand how we are able to see image of any object in the mirror. Again, take a drawing board with a sheet fixed to it. Draw a line on it and place a mirror along it. Draw two normal rays on it. Name the points where normal and the mirror line meet as A and C. Point two laser lights from one side of the mirror such that one is incident on A and the other is on C. Obtain two reflected rays. Ask your friend to draw the incident and the reflected ray on the sheet with the help of pencil. Now imagine that a human eye is placed right at the place where the reflected rays are coming from. Where will the eye perceive the object? The object will be perceived behind the mirror because if you extend the reflected rays in the backward direction, they meet at a point. They meet at a point I. So, for your eyes, the object is lying behind the mirror. That is how the image of an object is seen and perceived by human eye as it is formed in the mirror. Such images that are formed by extending the reflected rays are called virtual. As in real, there is no such extension or intersection. Plain mirror always forms virtual image. Now take a pen in your hand and stand in front of the mirror. See the image of the pen in the mirror. What do you observe? We observe that the image is of the same size as that of the object. The image is erect. Image appears at the same distance behind the mirror as it is in front of the mirror. Image is laterally inverted 
that is the left becomes right and the right becomes left based on the surface the reflection could be of two types regular reflection when the reflecting surface is plane and smooth the reflected light rays from each point on the surface are always parallel to each other diffused reflection when the reflecting surface is irregular and then the reflected light rays from each point on the surface are not parallel multiple images when you go for a haircut how do you check that the hairstylist has done the right styling for you as we cannot see at our back our hairdresser put some mirror at the back side of our head and then we are able to see the hairstyle in the mirror which is in front of us let us understand this with the help of an activity take two plane mirrors label one as a and the other as b keep them at the angle of 90 degrees now place a coin in between the mirror what do you observe we observe three images of the coin how are images formed actually one image in one of the mirror acts as the object for another mirror so we get two images also images of both mirrors are also seen in each other and hence we are able to see three images this is called multiple image formation or multiple reflections now we come back to our examples the mirror put at the back of our hair forms the image of our hair which acts like an object for the mirror kept in front and we could see one more image in the front mirror similarly one mirror of the periscope which is at the top forms an image of the object which acts as an object for the second mirror placed near our eyes and we could see the image of the object clearly in that mirror if we change the angle between the two mirrors we obtain different number of images there is a formula for obtaining multiple images depending on the angle between the two plane mirrors denoted by theta number of images is equal to 360 degrees upon theta minus 1 it means if angle theta is equal to 180 degrees then number of images will be equal to 1 if the angle is 60 degrees then the number of images will be equal to 5 an idea of number of images formed by mirrors placed at an angle to one another is used in a kaleidoscope to make numerous beautiful patterns take a cardboard roll take three plane mirrors whose width should be equal to the diameter of the cardboard roll and length less than the length of the roll tape the three mirror strips at an angle of 60 degrees insert the triangle made into the cardboard roll cover one side of the roll with butter paper put some colorful bangle pieces inside the mirror triangle cover the other end also with a black chart paper make a hole on the black chart paper your kaleidoscope is ready now you can enjoy the colorful patterns formed by the kaleidoscope sunlight white or colored you must have seen rainbow in the sky in rainy season you know that rainbow is formed due to dispersion of light let us make our own prism set up to see the splitting of light take a bowl filled with water put a plain mirror strip in it lengthwise this is our prism set up now take this set up at a place where plenty of sunlight is coming adjust the set up such that whatever is reflected by the mirror falls on the wall or some screen which should be white in color what do you observe we observe the seven colors instead of white light on the wall hence we have made a setup to see the dispersion of light on our own human eye and its care we see things only when light coming from them enters our eyes eye is one of our most important sense organs it is therefore important to understand its structure and working the shape of human eye is almost spherical there is a thick coating on the outer surface of our eyes to protect them against any injury in the front there is a transparent part called cornea behind cornea there is a muscular structure called as iris 
It is the color of iris that defines our color of eyes. Iris has an opening in it called as pupil. The size of the opening is controlled by the iris. If there is too much light, iris shrinks to narrow down the size of the pupil. But when it is dim light, iris expands to collect more light so as to see properly. The lens of our eyes comes after the pupil. It is a convex lens which forms the image of the object at a screen at the back side of the eye called as retina. Image formed on retina is taken to the brain by the optic nerve cells. There are two kinds of nerve cells contained in retina. Cones, sensitive to bright light and color and rods, sensitive to dim light. There is a blind spot on the retina which does not respond to any light. It is at the junction of the retina and nerve cells where no sensory cells are found. Any image formed on the retina does not vanish immediately. Its impression stays on retina for 1 upon 16th of the second. This means if we flash more than 16 still images of an object in a second, our eyes will perceive those images as moving. This is what is used in the movies. Approximately 24 pictures in sequence are shown to us in one second so that we perceive a moving picture. Let us understand this by an activity. Take a cardboard. Make two holes in it in the same line. Insert a string through the holes. On one side of the cardboard, paste a picture of a cage. On the other side, paste a picture of a bird. Now twirl the cardboard very fast. What do you observe? You will perceive that the bird is in the cage as the cardboard moves very fast. This will not be seen if the speed of the twirl is very slow. Pair of the eyes. Our eyes can see the distant object as well as the nearby object comfortably. Ideally, the farthest distance at which the eyes can see is infinity, whereas the nearest distance at which the eye can see is 25 centimeters. But with age and due to some eye defects, some people can't see within this range. Let us discuss some of these defects. Some can see near objects clearly, but cannot see distant objects clearly. For example, when you or your friend faces the problem in seeing the content written on the blackboard while sitting at the last bench. Some can see distant objects but cannot see a nearby thing properly. For example, when you and your friend face any problem in reading your book or newspaper, these two problems can be corrected by wearing the lenses or glasses as suggested by the optician. Sometimes with age, the lens of the eye becomes cloudy and people can't see properly. This is called cataract and can be cured by operating and replacing the lens of the eye. Our eyes are a wonderful gift given by God. We should learn how to keep it safe. Do not look at any bright object like sun without wearing sun protection goggles. Do not study in dark. Keep the books at a distance of 25 centimeters while reading. Wash your hands frequently to keep them dust free. Do not rub your eyes as germs of your hands may enter your eyes and infect them. Eat a diet rich in vitamin A like carrots, green vegetables, papaya and egg to avoid the eye disease, night blindness. There are many people in this world who have lost their vision because of some accidents, some diseases or by birth. To help such people out in reading and writing, a system was developed by Louis Braille, who himself lost his eyesight in an accident. Braille system has 63 dot patterns or characters, where each character represents a word, a combination of two or more words or a common word. For example, C alphabet is written with a combination of two dots and four dashes. Visually challenged people touch these letters and memorize. Many Indian languages, science, math and other common languages can be read with the help of Braille system. Braille text can be produced by machines or hand.